we're carving a watermelon today. First thing I want to show you is selecting the melon. It should have a nice knock, uh, echoing sound. I like to buy melons that are grown in my own country, uh, personally. So this melon is grown in uh, Indiana, grown in the USA. Uh, melon Acres, thank you farmers. Wonderful piece of fruit, not expensive, very good for you, I love it. So you gotta remove this sticker, first of all, but I wanted to just show that to you. It's important where your food comes from, and you should know. Uh, can't always buy it upon price, but uh, you need to read this stuff here. Product of Indiana. Thank you, farmers. And into one of the garnishing sets here. Oh, yeah, look at that. The set's got about everything. So uh, we've got... Carving uh, knives and tools here, melon ballers, paring knives, heart cutters, daisies, uh, fluted oval, oval, channel knife, uh, carving tool, uh, stainless steel peeler, another carving knife, a, a fluted carving tool, and a citrus zester, all in a durable case. You can buy a set like this from us or you can build a set together some interesting things here too this is a little carving knife and this is a knife guard you got to have the knife guard to protect your fingers protect the knife and to protect the knife kit so that you don't rip your kit apart so all this stuff you got to take into consideration <clears throat> and uh, today I'm using this one right here offset channel knife first thing I'm gonna do with this melon is uh, I'm using the offset channel knife you can score it at the sponsor and all we're going to do is go from the the top to the bottom like this back and forth and I'm just going to put a pattern on here for you to see and then you can easily do this yourself if you decide you want to and I'm going to put just a small space in between each cut like this all the way around now if you're in a catering environment or uh, food service operation you can easily uh, utilize these things for garnishes so these make all kinds of cool garnishes just here's the simplest one right there okay it's pretty cool put that on someone's plate they'll be like wow what is that okay all right I'm gonna repeat this all the way around I'll be back okay there it is the finished carved melon all the way around pretty cool I'm just going to take it and do a quick, uh, uh, like a crown, and show you uh, how you can utilize this on a buffet. Before I do that, I need to use a large knife like this and cut the bottom so it's flat. I want it to stand up. We're just going to remove uh, a small slice, but I need it to be somewhat level. So you just look down at it and remove as much as needed like this so that this baby will stand up. Then you can do all kinds of things with it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do a crown, and I'm not going to use the whole thing. It's going to be a small crown. So I'm going to just uh, do it right along here like this. Uh, select where you want your crown to begin. and Just go back and forth. You want to try to be very uniform. Okay, and the last cut. There we go. There's my crown. Looks like I need to proceed a little bit deeper with the long knife. Okay. There it is. So this is the one over here that's nice and flat. Then we're going to scoop out some of this and finish. I want to let you know I soak this one in some hot water and that makes it more flexible. So once you do that you can get a few more twists or uh, garnishing ideas out of it. Uh, this is just going to be a double loop. Very simple but still a nice garnish on a plate. Sushi or something like that. Check it out. First, your sponsor. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. ChefDepot.com.